what we want to do is give an overview of what automating a host application could look like. So first, we're going to start with our emulator. So what I want to do is be able to connect to the emulator and then navigate through the host like I would. So I'm connected, navigate to the host application, log in as a, as a regular user, and then get to the application that I want to look at. So in this case, I might stop at this menu, and what I'm tasked to do is go look at some account details for a given account number. So I select number one on my menu option, and I enter my account number that I want to look at, and I want to maybe look at the customer name and retrieve that as part of my you know, notes or part of my report that I'm, I'm gathering information for, and just to verify that the, the system that I'm uh, cross-checking with has the same values. So then from that, I, will, I can navigate back to my menu and then start again with a new account number and validate uh, that name as well, and so on as, as a repeatable process. So, <clears throat> in, you know, instead of manually doing this, if I have multiple uh, processes that I need to integrate with or multiple applications I need to integrate, I can incorporate this, this process into a workflow. And so to demonstrate that, what we want to do is look at what it would look like in, in a uh, RPA uh, process, and we're going to use MicroFocus RPA to, to demonstrate this. <clears throat> so what we can do is record these, these uh, movements or these navigation uh, to the host emulator by setting up our designer, which we're going to be using. And I want to record terminal emulating emulators, and then I need to select which terminal emulator I need to run against. In this case, I'm going to select MicroFocus uh, Reflection Desktop, and we can choose from the various different emulators that we have. And then also, when I configure this session, I want to make sure that this session is configured with an, an, a short name, a Halapi short name of A. And what that does is signify that I'm using the Halapi interface that the RPA engine is going to use to interrogate the uh, host screen for me. So once I get that configured, I'm not going to go through the recording process, but I've, I've pre-recorded these, these steps here. And in this case, I've pre-recorded the, the steps of walking through the screen, um, select, uh, sending a, a value to the, to the menu option, hitting enter, waiting for the screen to settle, and then I variableized the values that I want to select from the screen. In this case, the last name, and then the uh, first name. So I'm going to, going to pick off those area based on row and column off of this IBM host. And then once I'm done collecting that data, I'm going to hit the F, F3 to return back to the menu. So what that would look like, and I can uh, get this in a process flow now in integrating a spreadsheet. Let's say I have values set up in a spreadsheet of account numbers that I want to look up. And I can read that value from a spreadsheet. And then I'm going to format it to make sure it's a, a string. And then I'm going to send that to my recording that I've added to my workflow. That's this, this uh, flow here. And then I'm going to write that value out to a report. Now, this value can, this can be added to another workflow where I want to, integ uh, to update a, maybe an external database or a data source with that same information. So if I go ahead and, and run this against my host, I'm already parked at the menu screen. So it should take over. It, it takes a little bit because I'm running from the designer. If I actually publish this to the robot, it'll run quite a bit faster. So you see it, it navigated to, to the screen, grabbed, the, uh, and, uh, grabbed that information from, uh, from the host screen. And I can look at interrogate the output that came out, the values. So I got the first name Bruce, and then and then I write I write that information out to the file. So that that's fine for a single threaded process. So again, we can we can take this process then and compound that into a a looping feature. So if I want to add uh, and and iterate through the entire list or entire rows of my spreadsheet, let's say it's time to go get a cup of coffee or something, I can automate this and just go through the whole process of um, all the numbers that I have um, in my report that I need to process and, and pr uh, provide information or validate the information for, so I can include a workflow 
that will include reading the entire spreadsheet or in each row single each row at a uh, single at a time process that account number and then iterate through the entire row and then log off so I'm going to provide my login credentials I've already recorded a login sequence it then the get account um, sequence that I've already recorded and then my log off sequence so I can finish up the session now if I run that you'll see that again running from the designer it's going to run a little bit slower and we can see it, it navigating it logged me in parked me at the uh, menu that I'm looking for we'll, we'll see these things turn green once they, they've completed successfully um, it'll grab the session again pass the, the value in there pass the account number and then navigate back and, and iterate through that process um, a number of times that I've requested it to, to go out to the and read that spreadsheet just one more time again it runs slower because I'm running in the designer just for visual effect if we publish this as an actual robot and automate it it'll perform much faster so then what I can do is go out and see what the, what the results are so in this case I just wrote out a file to simulate a report you know if I bring up this file I, I wrote out the values that are collected so I only iterated through three of those in this instance so it collected names for each one of these account numbers now likewise the uh, server-based product that we have the Veristream we can also incorporate into our uh, designer as well and we, we uh, did a, a uh, session on this a couple of months ago but talking about automating uh, server side or server based API stuff and integrating those in test as well so we've I've created the same process in a what we call our Veristream studio and I, I'm going to get uh, output a rest call so I can make a web service call um, from the designer to collect the same information that I'm looking for now this is a running on a this rest or service is running on a remote uh, server that's going to uh, collect and navigate the, the host in the same manner and collect the same data for me so I'm going to read that the same spreadsheet to get the value but pass it into a, a rest service so I can run this thing and it collects the information and it's sent to the service and we don't have to actually see the screens navigate it runs quite a bit faster so if I interrogate this I can return the, the first name here and the last name came back then then I write the same values out to the report and um, execute it that way and likewise I can create this this operation or this flow into a recurring or loop that will process the entire spreadsheet and if I run that it'll call that web service for each value that reads from this, the the uh, spreadsheet that we created and get those values returned. So these are the same processes, just one running on a server and one running on my local desktop with the emulator. And we can also demonstrate, like I said, demonstrating the uh, Bearstream uh, server-based product. You, you'll increase your uh, performance and also we can provide scalability for threading, multiple uh, threading your, your service calls as well. So provide the performance that you're looking for. Thank you. Yeah.